good evening. I think as as presentation is loading, uh, I think we have been talking about metaverse since morning. Yeah, it's here. So let me ask one question here uh, to start my uh, sort of presentation here. Uh, and I think that is coming from some of the things we picked up in the previous session and before that. So how many of you have actually gone into a metaverse? Can you raise your hand? Yeah, so some of you have gone. And, now, and have you created your avatar uh, in those uh, metaverse? All right, so I have. Okay, so here is uh, my avatar. This is me. Uh, we happen to do a, a new launch or launch of our new XC40 recharge on metaverse and we had to create a, a, a avatar. I created my own avatar. I think it is very boring. I showed it to my daughter who is like 18 years and she said, this is very boring. This is now not how you create your avatars. It, they have to, but it was a formal event with media. We were doing it as an experiment. So I had to do it. So I think this is uh, what I'm going to talk about a bit and then maybe we'll take it forward from here. Uh, so I think we, I come from Volvo. Uh, Volvo is a Swedish company and we are known for safe cars, as you know. Uh, safety is uh, ingrained in our DNA and uh, sustainability is also equally important. Right, so we have, I don't know how many of you know, uh, it was Volvo who invented three-point uh, safety belt, which has since been given without any patent to everybody. So I think Volvo has saved a lot of life directly or indirectly, so it's, it's what Volvo is all about. And uh, sustainability is also about safety because now we are talk looking at climate change and we're looking at things changing around us. It is someone, someone has to come forward and take responsibility and we believe as car maker we, we are responsible and that's how we keep our world and our earth and our environment safe. So sustainability is something which, which is very, very uh, crucial to us. And uh, we are doing a lot when it comes to sustainability. Uh, we have, we have talked about very clearly, we have a very, I would say within the car industry, we have a very ambitious uh, plan to become carbon neutral company by 2040 and also become uh, a circular economy by 2040. And a lot of things are happening. It's not just about selling electric cars. Electric cars, there are a lot of questions as to how sustainable they are, but it is, it is creating the whole ecosystem, creating sustainability across the value chain, uh, not how, how we produce cars, what what materials we use, uh, how we sell those cars, and how do we create the whole ecosystem. So I think we are doing a lot, uh, and hence whatever we do, we somehow question ourselves that what, what we are doing, is there a sustainability angle to it, right? And uh, a few other things we are doing, of all of our dealers, it is beyond, I think as I said, it is not about just create, making uh, eco-friendly cars, but it is about doing it whatever you can, and sometimes even for your own society. So. We have done some initiatives at our dealerships. Our dealerships have started using solar panels and things like that. But we also did it for, uh, uh, we, we in within Delhi NCR, we have gone and uh, given solar panels to public health centers. Four of them, small scale, but that's how we start. But uh, what I'm trying to say is sustainability is always important. And then we launched our first electric car around, I would say, 10 days back, uh, 13 days back. And this is XC40 Recharge, which comes with a full electric car. It's our first electric car that we have launched, and this is our journey of sustainability that starts from here. Uh, globally, we have said that we are going to become a 100% electric car company by 2030. Uh, and by 2025, 50% of our revenues are going to come from electric cars. So I think it is a big uh, statement. And so far, similar thing in India, maybe we believe it can happen faster. So when we were, to, we were looking at launching this car, we again asked ourselves, uh, we, this is obviously it's a Volvo car, it has to be safe, but uh, what are we doing with regard to sustainability? Uh, so I think within the car, there are a lot of things. We are using a leather-free upholstery for the first time. Uh, so it has, uh, it is, it is sort of, uh, is a one step towards sustainability. It uses a lot of components which is coming from ocean waste. So that can be converted. So there is a lot beyond what we see as electric car that is going to sustainability. And then we were to launch this car in India. We thought, can we do something from a sustainability perspective that we all came together and we heard in earlier panels today about some use cases. And 
and it's an experiment i think it's a new thing metaverse we need to start from somewhere we thought okay uh, if we have to offer something uh, uh, sustainable and we also believe in technology innovation so how do we put these things together and uh, we then i think after a lot of brainstorming we said we can do a physical activity or physical event which we always do call all the media over show them the car but now metaverse is a reality it can be used uh, though in a smaller scale with a limited audience and let's do it an ex as an experiment it comes with its own risks we know that but that's how we decided that okay let's get into a metaverse we this was the first uh, and i think we are i think we are the first company to do this within the car industry in india so what we did was basically uh, it was a media launch we have to showcase a car we have to announce our price we call in the media and we sort of uh, do it in this this way and then we also can and typically what we do is next day we will then do another activity where we will call our dealers and do the same drill with them third day we will do with our own employees and so and so forth so it becomes like uh, but i think that when we asked ourselves i think that travel media coming from all over india dealers coming from all over india means a lot of i think we talk about carbon footprint they will take flights come in can that be avoided uh, and that's how we said okay metaverse can give us a solution where which could we really don't know data doesn't really exist in terms of how much metaverse is creating carbon footprint versus but we believe that probably this is the right step and that's how we uh, got doing this and let me show a small video uh, which will sort of uh, make you understand what happened on that day so a quick glimpse on our metaverse journey yeah so this was some glimpses from uh, the, all the shots that you saw is actual metaverse uh, some of these were our journalists coming in they had their own avatars and our own dealers and lot of these people came together in fact uh, it was quite successful for us and we got what we really wanted from this event in terms of what you expect from a media event you want uh, to have a real share of voice and i think we got so we are quite happy it is an experiment as i said we learn from it and maybe scale it up and see what else we can do around that all right so then uh, as i said i think this we were the first to uh, launch this and we believe we have done in a i think in a green way in a in a in a climate neutral way and uh, so we are happy to uh, do this in in this form and that's why i think it is relevant for today that how can this lead into more activities using metaverse uh, and uh, taking them forward from here all right so i think uh, for future i think there are a lot which i'm sure we have been hearing since morning there is a lot which is possible there are events like this was an event it was a media launch and we can do various other types of events in the uh, in the metaverse uh, there is a possibility of creating showrooms like we have showed car showrooms you can create uh, a digital showroom where and it's already happening uh, we can do conferences we can do a lot uh, i think that prototyping can be done for new products testing can be done and beyond that i think uh, advertising in uh, an obvious area uh, product placements and other things can still be done education we heard trainings uh, we heard about uh, conferences uh, education institutes can i think in last two years we have worked started working from home so virtual workspaces are possible in in this so there is a lot which is uh, going to happen so i think uh, in my view in the previous discussion there was a question uh, with regard to metaverse whether it is a fad or it's a reality we have experimented we believe it is something which will pick up but in the end it's in my view a spectrum in terms of uh, on one side uh, how much time are are people going to spend on something like metaverse so we heard everybody is i think on their phones using social media how fast people will start using more uh, spending more time on metaverse and how immersive and that is going to depend on how immersive it is going to be the technology in terms of hardware software and brands coming together so it is it is bound to happen 5g is coming we all know and that will make uh, these experiences even better and uh, with that i would like to end my speech and i think one day we'll see each other in a in a metaverse avatar unlike uh, face to face and obviously we would continue to meet face to face but also through a, me uh, a metaverse avatar thank you so much and a good evening